So, when you've opened up your charting tool now, you will notice that we are still selected on the candlestick chart. And remember in the previous introductory one, we said that you should focus on whether or not you're working on a line chart and whether or not you're working on a candlestick chart. Now, for this example, we're going to be focusing on the compare tool and what's the functionality of the compare tool and how can the user use the compare function which is available. And as you can see, the compare function is available here on your top right hand side which says compare so we can now focus on that and get an idea for how shares are trading so why do we use the compare function well the user the user friendliness of the compare function is there so that you can analyze how a share is doing in the specific index in which it trades so when we look for instance we're currently on the J203 which is the all share index but when you look at a share and remember you've got your share filter which is available under subscribers when you look at it you'll notice that we've got a column um, which has the name of sector and each share trades within a specific sector. So if we, for instance, look at the financials, I want to focus on something like the J213, and the J213 would be the top 15 financial index. So when I look at that, if I get the, the right explanation for that, we say that it's the 15 largest all share index companies ranked by full market capitalization that are classified as South African financial shares. So that's what we're going to be looking at. So before I can start with my compare tool, if I want to compare shares to that specific index, I want to make sure that I've got that um, on this main board currently. So the first thing that I actually want to do is I'm going to switch my style to a line chart, which is just going to be easier to use. Then I go to my white block in the left hand side corner and remember if you click in it it will open up the tab then you can go to indices and if I go to indices I can go down to the J213 so you just simply do this by scrolling your mouse wheel and as I go down I search for the financial 15 and I see the J212 so this is a code that you probably want to write down if you want to look at if you want to do the compare tool and look at the top financial top 15 financial index the J212 so I'm just going to click on it if I click on it it will open up the chart and you'll now notice that it says J212 so this is now the chart that's been selected also remember the time frame that you're looking at we said in the introductory video as well that it's important that you note the time frame that you're working on and if you look on the x-axis down here you'll see that we've got a date from 2015 and then 2016 year but it's important to pull up more data particularly you want to see at least a minimum of two years data so I would I would roll my mouse wheel to increase the amount of data that I see you can also do this by using the functionality down here if you're working on a tablet or on your phone you probably want to be using this so you're going to be using the minus button to increase the amount of data or the plus button to decrease the amount of data that you see so now we said that we want to look and compare the shares to the index so the reason why we do this is to see which shares are outperforming the index and which shares are actually underperforming this index so if we're just going to be looking at three examples the first one's going to be old mutual the second one's going to be bright and then the third one's going to be discovery so if I want to compare it to this index because they all three of them are trading within the financial index then I go to this compare function which is available to me so I click on compare then it asks me for the symbol so let's start off with the first one so remember the symbol is always the code of the company if you do not know the code of the company for instance if you don't know what the code is for old mutual and that it that the code is OML then you need to go back to your share filter and use the search function type old mutual and then see the results happen and see what is the code for the company we're also going to be having a tube on the share filter as well so just go and watch the share filter tube so first of all the old mutual ones so I'm going to type OML so after typing OML I press enter or you can click on add whichever is the best one for you I simply click on add so now you'll notice we don't work with values anymore the only um, figures that we're currently seeing is not not a uh, uh, points system but what we're working with is percentages 
so then I click on compare again this time I want to add something else so now I want to add braid so that's BAT and you can every time you can choose a different color for that specific share so if you want braid to be yellow or blue or whichever the case may be you can change the color to to what your preferences are so if I say but I will listen I want to have a this color I can change it and then I just click on add and then I can go a little bit further I can say well listen I this time I want to look at a compare and this time I want to look at discovery so discovery would be DSY and this time after adding it I just click on add so now just by adding these three stocks I can immediately see that Braid is the outperforming share now how do I know this because when I go and look at this if I look over here to my left hand side at the top if you don't know which share or which index is which color remember the J212 is highlighted in black Old Mutual is this purple color and Braid is this reddish color and then we've got Old um, Discovery um, which is this orange type color right now if, if the colors are too closely linked you're more than welcome to change that that's important to note so now, now you can go and see that if I click on compare again it would show me these three stocks so I know for a fact that Old Mutual, Braid and Discovery are the three shares and I, what am I comparing it to? I'm comparing it to the J212 which is the 15 largest um, South African financial shares ranked by full market capitalization so now I can see which of these shares are either outperforming or underperforming the index so this is the way that I can see whether or not shares are doing well um, if they are really performing and not performing and if I can see here immediately if I hold my mouse on that top one you'll notice that it says that this is BAT which is bright and bright has outperformed that index quite significantly and if you compare it to other shares like discovery we'll see that discovery is still doing better than old mutual while old mutual is following the index quite closely um, but we know that the banking sector for instance is under huge constraints at this point in time so old mutual as a financial share is following the J212 closely but it's not performing as well as discovery but it's also not performing as well for instance as Bright. So Bright would pr uh, particularly be one of the shares that I want to look at. So the compare tool is there for you to see which shares are outperforming the index and which shares are underperforming the index and it's always a good thing to know that because you want to go and look at those shares which are performing uh, much better than a normal average movement of all the financial shares. Please make a note that you should follow up and look at the lecture modules on technical analysis go to your lectures and read through the technical modules um, of these um, patterns and this is going to be the next tube that we're going to be looking at is going to be the patterns that shares make the cycles that shares make